In this video, we're gonna build a view to show all the friend requests that you might have sent. But don't get too excited. Don't think that you're all of a sudden friend material. You still gotta earn those friends. So let's actually take a look at the production website just so you can get an idea of what this is gonna look like. So in the production website, I am at my own profile currently. And notice over here, I have a couple of friend requests. So it says I have three. So if I click here and I go to this view, notice here it shows the three people who have sent me friend requests. And each one of these I can either decline or accept. So we're gonna build this view in this video. We're not gonna build in the functionality for like accepting or declining yet, but we are just gonna build this and list out anybody who sent you a friend request. All right, step one is build the actual view. So let's go into friends and go into views.py and we're gonna build a view up at the top here. So define friend request. Um, you should probably call it friend request view since it is a view, but in my source code, I have it as friend requests, but I kind of, that was a mistake on my part, probably to keep with the convention that I've been doing. I probably should have said friend requests view, but I, I want to stay consistent with my source code. So I'm going to call it friend requests. I also suggest you keep consistent with what I'm doing, especially if you're a beginner, just in case you accidentally get hung up on something. So to find a context variable, the user equals request.user. Now I wanna check if that user is authenticated. If they are authenticated, I'm gonna get the user ID from the keyword argument, so get user ID. Remember, whenever we visit someone's profile, so if I go to my own profile here, the user ID is up as a keyword argument up here. So that's how I'm, I'm accessing the, the user ID. I'm getting it from the URL. So now let's get the account that's associated with that user ID. So account.objects.get primary key equals that user ID. Uh, next, we want to say if the account equals the authenticated user. So if I'm looking at my own account, then I wanna get that, that list of friend requests. If I'm not looking at my own account, then obviously I, I shouldn't be able to see other users' friend requests. I should only be able to see my friend requests. So that's, that's, what, uh, that's what that check is for. So friend request.objects.filter. So this will return a list, a query set, where receiver equals the account and is active equals true. So we only want to get, see, I gotta wrap that text again. That happens every single time. There we go. So is active is true, meaning that the friend request is still good. It's not like, you know, hasn't been accepted. It hasn't been declined. And now I want to pass those friend requests to the template. So friend request. So otherwise, if the account is not the user, so if I'm not looking at my own profile, I want to return an HTTP response that says you can't view another user's friend uh, requests. Requests. So that will just load a page that says just kind of the raw text of, hey, you're doing something that you shouldn't be trying to do, uh, so get out of there. Uh, otherwise, if the user is not authenticated, uh, in that case, I want to redirect to the login screen. So the only way that would ever happen is like if they if they knew the URL. So if you went to the development environment and I tried to like visit somebody else's friend request page, like if I type two here, it's, it should tell me, hey, you can't view another user's profile. Also, if I wasn't authenticated, so like if I log out and then I tried to visit that URL, it should redirect me to the login screen. But it actually doesn't, which is odd. Um, it looks like I might have to re, I might have to update the server. I'm gonna have to come back and make sure that's okay because that is not behaving the way I expected. So we'll just carry on. But uh, yeah, the goal here is if they're not authenticated, they should get redirected to the login screen. Looks like I'm not sure if my production environment has something wrong or. I typed something wrong in the code, so we'll we'll see by the end of this video. So the the template that we're going to load here is friend uh, friend request.html and then pass the context variable. So pretty straightforward, you know, is the user authenticated? If they are, get the account. If I'm looking at my own account, then get the friend request. Otherwise, tell them, "Hey, you can't view that." If they are not authenticated, then redirect them to the login screen. Pretty straightforward. Um, oh, we need the uh, redirect import that might actually be why i don't know that that could be why so whoops i'm gonna come up to come up to the top here and do from django dot shortcuts import render and import redirect so we need to get that and that should be good that could be why maybe in the source code i forgot to add the the redirect import anyway let's uh let's give that a go let's create a url for this now so go into urls.py and import the friend requests view that we just created friend request 
Now I'm gonna copy this and do uh, friend requests slash user ID. That's going to be the URL with the trailing slash. Grab this, paste this in here, friend requests, and we'll call this URL the shortcut friend requests. So control S on that. Now we're gonna build friendrequest.html. So go into, don't go into snippets, go into templates and then into friend. Right click here, new file, and just call this friend request. I think that's, I think it was friend request. Let me just double check. Yeah, friendrequest.html. So save that, friendrequest.html. And now since we've been copy pasting in HTML for the entire course, I'm going to keep consistent because I don't want to write this out. So copying that, that code is of course in the description of this video, so get that down below. But hey, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, the code is not in the description of the video. You need to go to my website, it's free. Just register an account, watch the course on my website, and all of your dreams will come true. All of the code snippets will be down below in the description of the video. Also, it'll track your progress and give you any other resources that you need in that video. So what are you waiting for? Go to codingwithmitch.com right now. All right, so pasting in that HTML. Now let's just kind of quickly go through this. So of course, at the top, there's some CSS, which you can go through if you like. Uh, now let's go through the, the HTML itself. So if there are friend requests, which is a variable that we have in the template right here, this friend request variable, if there are friend requests, then we want to loop through them and basically just display them. So if we take a look at the production website, I'll log in again and we go to my pending friend request. So if we take a look at this, like the, the whole outside here, this is a card. This is a big HTML card. And then inside each of the loop entries, we also have cards. So like that's a card, uh, you know, that's a card. And again here, notice that these are in twos. So every two, it should break. Now I only have three requests. So of course there's two at the top, one, two, and then the third one takes up the entire uh, length of the bottom or width of the bottom. So this is done in Django. So if we take a look at the template again, remember we have this for loop uh, looping through the request. So for request in friend request. And then down here we have a counter. So this gets the index of the loop. So when the index of the loop is divisible by two, so every even number, we wanna end the div and then create a new div. That is how we break this up into twos. So every even one, it ends the div and then creates a new one. We went through this in, um, I can't remember which other view. There was another view that we did this in. I can't remember what it is now. Oh, when you're searching for users, that was what it was. So that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have no requests, obviously it's gonna show no requests. Uh, the only other thing here that you might be worried about or confused about is uh, triggering, decline, accepting, basically just these JavaScript functions. So just like before, I have a bunch of placeholders down here. You should actually comment these out because these are not included in the code. Just a bunch of placeholders. And in the next couple of videos, we'll be working on accepting friend requests and declining friend requests. So these are snippets that we are going to include. Just notice that these are commented out for now. So we're gonna be building those pretty soon. So press Control S and we're gonna go to the development environment. So if I go to my account, I have no friend requests. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in with a bunch of different users and come back and send myself a bunch of friend requests. So I'm gonna pause the video here, but I'll be back in probably a second for you. All right, so off camera, I created a bunch of accounts and added myself as a, or sent me a friend, bunch of friend requests. So if I go to the account section now, I have friend requests here, notice there's two. And if I click here, oh, that's actually something we forgot to update. So if I click on this, it should take me to the friend request screen that we just built. That is my bad. So if we go to go to account and go to account.html, uh, we need to scroll down to, let me just see here. We need to scroll down, look for, search for a number sign actually. Uh, oh, there's too many. Here we go, probably. Uh, friend list link, uh, friend request right here. So inside of this, this comment here that says friend request, so if friend request, we wanna use that URL for uh, friend request. So friend, 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 I think it was dash requests. And are there any, any keyword arguments? Let's take a look. Yes, we do need the user ID. So in that case, we need to do user ID equals ID. I believe uh, ID is being passed as a template variable in account.html. Let me just uh, let me just double check by going to views.py and search for account view should be ID. Yes. OK, so control S on there. Now I'm going to refresh our development environment. And if I click here, it should take us to our friend request and boom, there we go. So now we have 
both people that sent me a friend request and I can either accept or decline. Well, I can't yet, but that's what we're gonna work on next. So like I said, in the next video, we're gonna work on accepting friend requests. So when I click on a check mark, be it in my accounts, in their accounts, in my friend request list, wherever, when I click that accept button, it will then uh, set that friend request to inactive and we will get added to each other's friend list. I will see you in the next video.